Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to combine the MACD indicator and weekly chart like a pro part 3. In this tutorial we want to talk about a MACD zero line. Alright. The financial instrument that we are using for this demonstration is the post holding incorporated Epic POST, Papa Oscar Sierra Tango Post, an American stock. There is one clean cut setup here for MACD when MACD goes above the zero line. All right. so remember this if MACD goes above the zero line, all right, after going below it, so you can see here it was below it, now it went back above it. Is telling us that the price is out of a declining channel. Was it a declining? Was it only declining channel? Mandy goes above the zero line. Mandy is telling us the price is now. So when Mandy is below the zero line, in normal condition, the price should be in a declining channel. And when Mandy stay above the zero line. The price should be in a rising channel. So when we are talking about uh, MACD zero line, we are talking about trending fresh rising channel and declining channel. If MACD stay above the zero line, it can go up, up and down. You can see it was above the zero, but it was going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But if you just pay attention to MACD, you can get into trouble. You want to pay attention to the channels. When the price is when MACD is above the zero line, all right. So, if the price was in a declining channel and the MACD went below D below the zero line like this, this this is the pattern where MACD will go above the zero line. As you can see here, and will try to retest the zero line. Uh, this scenario, you can see when I place a vertical line there, when MACD was retesting the zero line, is something that you will notice very often. But it's not the MACD itself, it's the price. So price breaks above the channel. What I say to traders, this one is very close to the channel. We want it to go away from the channel before retesting it. You can see here, it went out of the declining channel, just retest it here. But it went up though, it went up though. But after that, after going away from that declining channel, it formed a higher low. Here it is. Another thing that I want to add is that when MACD is above the zero line and the price is in a rising channel, or if MACD is above the zero line and the price is trending, the price will be above the moving average 100, a rising moving average 100. We have what we call a declining moving average 100, horizontal moving average 100, and also a rising moving average. So if MACD goes above the zero line and the moving of the 100 is rising, we know that a trend is developing. So if you want to catch the trend at the early stage, what you are looking for, in fact, is that price coming out of a declining channel. So there was a bearish trend, then the price is now out of that uh, uh, declining channel, that's a bearish channel. And then MACD will come back above the zero line. On the other hand, if the price was trending for some time, MACD will stay above the zero line. And then when a bearish trend is about to begin, you will notice that MACD will go in back below the zero line. We will try to retest the zero line before continuing to stay below the zero line. You can see here, the price came out of that declining channel right there he rally up a bit everybody can see that he rally up a bit to the test here some traders slowly here he went down but you can see that MACD did not stay below the zero he went back up so probably now just escape the bearish pressure so you can see that the moving 100 was horizontal a bit acknowledging the consolidation here when the moving 100 is horizontal is consolidation or consolidation here and then now it went back up again <laughs> all right so if you want to trade the MACD going above the zero line from below or going below the zero line from above 
you are talking about channels channel if you do not want to use channel you will use pitchfork tool all right so every prior is in a rising channel so if you want to catch the early stage so break above a declining channel retest it or form the first higher low above the declining channel that's what you are trading in fact you can see that the price should stay above the, the moving of a hundred also so for instance if you see the price uh, going above the channel and then forming a higher low but the move the price still below the moving of a hundred you want to be a little bit careful or the moving and moving of a hundred is still declining you need to be a little bit careful all right so once the monkey goes above the zero uh, line we just play the channel that's it see yeah this is it we are playing the channel now Price form a new higher high, a higher high forming by, followed by a higher low on the edge of the, the channel. Trend line here, common set trend line here is broken. Implement a top down trading method. So you will be combining, so you see like this here, you switch to the two hour time frame or four hour time frame or even 15 minute time frame. So MACD is above the, the, the zero line or price above the moving 100. You can go to any time frame, common trade line is broken. Probably to bullish signal. Remember that? Okay. Now it has failed here, you see. Didn't find the support, crashed through it. So, because common trade line was not broken on the edge of this channel. You see, it was broken here. Alright. So talking about the zero line. Margin above the zero line if the price is trending is saying that the price is likely to trend to trend up Margin below the zero line means that the price is likely to trend down but here he's saying that it's likely to trend down but the trend did not continue it returned back above it used Margin above the zero line with the moving of a hundred rising Margin below the zero line with the moving of a hundred declining Sometimes MACD may be below the zero line, and you'll notice that the moving 100 will start turning, going, turning around, start going up, alerting us that there's likely to be a reversal. So, I have a few examples that I want to show you very fast. Apart from posts, there is another one PRI, Papa Romeo, okay, India. So, again, here, so this is a post. Prior was trending before, now here it is going down. In a declining channel, where was Magdi? Below the zero line. It went below the zero line. You see here? It went below the zero line. See, it so you see also below the moving of 100, that was going a little bit horizontal here. So you see, it was up, horizontal. Pay attention to the slope of the moving 100. Now, it breaks above that trend line. This is what we are talking about. Now, it retests it here. But you see, Magdi went above the zero line. Instead of staying above the zero line to retest it before going up, he went back below it. Why? Because the price went below the moving of a hundred. But all the price was doing is just to retest that uh, channel. It looks bearish, but it's not. You see the tail of that Kennedy bar and the trend line is broken. So if you were trading mad, you say, oh, it's going to be bearish again. But you know, it break, it pull back, test, come back. Now the tail, yeah, it go back above it. Careful, careful. If you, are, if you don't want to rush into a trade, you'll be patient, wait for another entry point somewhere above the moving of a hundred. Again, mark this, you can see here, going up and up and down, it's still above the moving of a hundred, still above the zero line, price still above the moving of a hundred, we just play the channel. That's it. No magic here, nothing special. So we can use the weekly chart like this, and then combine it to the two-hour time frame. The reality is okay. All right. So now he's retesting it now on the edge here. Okay, on the edge. All right. Is the common central line broken? Not yet. So next we will be watching this. For instance, watch it and see what's going to happen here. 
drop it down at that point to the two hour time frame to zoom into it so you see all right see on the edge of it so, <laughs> you see so you'll be watching it here so again you come to the two hour time frame or your 15 minute time frame which is a time frame you switch to the trend line okay so or you wait patiently to see another higher low so if you don't want to be the person catching it too early you can wait for another higher low above that level or right. gently use a different time frame meter or switch back to the 50 meter if i go to the 50 meter frame here it is you may see some bullish chart pattern so you may form for instance if it's going to go out sometimes you may see a bullish chart pattern in the form of a double bottom or inverted head and shoulder chart pattern at that point in time something like that that will entice you okay to give it a little bit of chance doesn't mean that definitely you go up because one should always be ready to buy and to sell do not assume anything all right okay Another example that I got is uh, PRU, PRU PRU. Again, here, look carefully. We are talking about the zero line. Yeah, try it here. Declining channel, messy declining channel. It was coming out and coming back in. See here? Now, what the price has done here, this is a tricky one for new traders. <laughs> the price from a higher low. That was retesting the media line of that declining channel. So as he went up, he just ran away. So you see, Mark DC try to go above. You see, pay attention to the vertical. You see that point? It was retesting the media line. They form a higher low. In fact, this is uh, what we are talking about inverted head and shoulder chart pattern. So another thing that I can tell traders is that uh, if you want to catch the trend using Mark going above the zero line or below the zero line, look for inverted head and shoulder chart pattern or double bottom chart pattern on the weekly chart and then the price and the MACD going above the zero line so here inverted head and shoulder chart pattern on the weekly chart and MACD goes above the zero line you see or a bearish chart pattern in the shape of uh, this one looking bearish now here call this a left hand side shoulder Looking a little bit bearish for this one here. Is that a trail, uh, the neckline of that uh, slanted head and shoulder chart pattern? No, it's still going back below it. Now, how do you trade? You draw a trail line, you draw it for two, and you want to trade on the edge to trade this, to take the signal carefully. So it's not just buy and cross fingers and hair. No, no, no. Uh, on the edge of here. See, touching the media line, or see. Do not forget okay. the horizontal key level. See, break below that important key level on the weekly chart, also. All right. Is it going to go back to retest that neckline ladder, or is it going to just retest the key level? We will see. All right, or is it going to crash through it all the way here? One step at a time, you see? All right. One more example. On the weekly chart. Here we are. So this is here. See here. Probably was in a rising channel. It's trending, yes or no, it's trending. Magdi was above the zero line going up and down here. He went even a little, bit, a little bit below the zero line. We know better because the price is still in a rising channel. Also above the 100. So it's not going to be bearish at all. So yeah, blah, blah, blah. Now it come out of the channel after this. Shh. Wow. It's sorry here. Push it down. So it came out of the channel. We test it gently there. Swing trade the solid down. Look, Mardi, Mardi, you see, did a, did, did a very good job, was below his signal line as the price was crashing down, and now uh, it did below the zero line right there. This is a nice signal. Mardi did not retest the zero line, but the price did retest, uh, implement a top down trading method to enter the trade like a pro. Pew. Pass it. it right down. Mardi stay below the zero line all this time. You see here, he went a little bit above the zero line. So, 
the channel will tell you whether Magdi is telling you the truth or not. The channel, I'm talking about the channel. So now it's out of that declining channel. Probably come out of the channel doesn't mean that you go into a rising channel straight away. It can go horizontal also before going down again. So don't assume that as it's coming out of a declining channel, definitely the next channel will be a rising channel. Well, so Magdi here, you see, it goes above the zero line because it come out of the declining channel, but they say that there will be a new trend. But where is the moving 100, you see? Still declining. They push it back down. <laughs> All right. Can that be helpful? I hope so. So, all in all, using to catch the trend, you can look for bullish chart pattern, inverted head and shoulder chart pattern, double bottom chart pattern, all right? Or price just breaking above, okay? A bearish trend line, a bearish channel, and retested it. And then Magdi goes above the zero line. Magdi goes above the zero line. Is the price now in a rising channel, displaying higher lows and higher highs? Then just play the channel as it goes along. All right. Same thing. In inverted head and shoulder chart pattern, Mardi goes below the zero line. Double top on the weekly chart, Mardi goes below the zero line. Is the price now in a declining channel? Play the channel. My, my prime and display lower lows, lower high until it fails to form a new lower low. All right. We can apply this strategy. So from the weekly chart, we see a setup. Like here, okay. If you were here, you will switch to what to our time frame, or even that you can go to a 50 minute time frame if you want to day trade or four hour time frame. Can you see that it's not showing here? Uh, maybe you see on a daily chart, no, it's not very clear here. Okay, long time ago, all right. So as always, we say we are looking first for a trading setup. Then we implement a different time frame trading method. That's what we call a top-down trading method. That's what we call trading like a pro. We are looking for a setup on any higher time frame. So you can use the weekly chart, looking for those setup. Okay, out of a channel, return the channel. Magic goes above the zero line. Okay, or below the zero line. Attention to the price and to the channel, and also. To the moving average 100. As always, if you come across something new like this, use a demo account, practice, practice. You'll be surprised sometimes. You think you understand everything. When you go, you start using a demo account, you'll be saying that uh, it's quite not straightforward. And with that, you gain more experience. Sometimes they watch a video and then they go and press the thread and they lose. And they say, oh no, mark this one down. It's a useless video. And they go again and watch another video. Maybe that day, the place the trade was good. They say, oh, this is the best. It turns up good. Everybody's happy. But sometime you may have two or four trade with a valid trading system. <laughs> but then you see you go through it, go through it, go through it, gently, gently, until you master it. All right? So if this video has been useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, please let us know by marking it down. If you think it's an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google+, Plus, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr, okay? If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, subscribe to our channel today. Our channel is George Trio, okay, YouTube channel. George, as George Washington, George Trio, T-R-I-O, George Trio, YouTube channel. Subscribe today. And be sure to click on the notification bell, so anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We have recorded the video today because a TSTW a trader did ask me to uh, go back to a strategy that I discussed a few uh, months ago about MACD trading, combining the MACD and the weekly chart. I will go back again, all right? So don't think that it's finished, all right? I will come back again to this topic. And uh, we'll go through it together, so that will help you to understand MACD itself. That's the most important to understand MACD, the price action, and what is going on, basing your MACD strategy on the market principle. That's the way, best way forward, so you can trade MACD on any time frame, and understanding exactly the message that MACD is communicating to us without trading MACD itself, but trading the price itself. Thank you for watching, 
and I will speak to you very soon. Happy to to you all. We are the TSTW, a 24 credits, talking about how to combine monkey indicator and weekly chart like a pro, a battery.